Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here from the beautiful state of Massachusetts and of course the city of Cohasset, Massachusetts. This is the February Rumble Night 2. I am of course here with Wolf Lovecraft and Bobby Fisher. Of course we're going to start off tonight with the female championship fail four-way ladder match between Mo Money, Jay LaMea and Morning Wood. Now we saw all four of these competitors face off against one another. Not all four, but you know, you know what I mean. They each had one-on-one -on -one matches uh, yesterday, last night, and both, all of them put on great performances. That is true. And ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring first from Jayla. Yeah, I don't know where she's add from. Add Jayla. Add, don't add her. <laughs> Just add Jayla. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, Jayla is still nursing an injury that has been uh, haunting her for the last month. And, you know, and of course, it's been working even more last night. That is true. And look at a ladder. That's a ladder. Tis. Tis indeed. A, tis. A ladder. Look at the belt sparkle. In I know. That light. Especially in the red light. It's nice. And, oh, sheesh. That looks look really it's cool. It's fire. <laughs> it looks like a fire oh, belt. Fire. Can we make a fire belt? Yes. Fire, I barely know her. <laughs> well, we also have to talk to the building, you know, like, see if it's a safe hazard, but... Hazard, hazard. You know what they say? Hazard, I barely know her. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> hazard, more like brazzers, am I right? <laughs> oh, well, I hope we have that TVMA rating up. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring next first of her opponents from the country of Armenia. She is... The genocidal maniac, Mia. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mia may you may not know this. Maybe you will from commentary last night. But Mia was born and raised inside of a fish factory. <laughs> she spent all of her life packing and eating fish. And of course, that caused the death, the third, the second death of our buddy Wolf Love One last night. And it also is or the Love cause of her hair on as well. That is true. Not not the fact that this video game has uh, really weird hair sometimes, like this, see? To be honest, it caused my ego to die. And now I'm left for the show. Back to the action! <laughs> okay, and making... Oh, wait, is that real money tonight? Is it? I mean, this is the sixth time you've asked that. So is is it real money? Uh, no, it isn't. No, no. no. Spit it out! It's just fake money again, guys. Don't worry. Well, that's what she said. Making her way to the ring from the bank. It's Mo Money. Of course, she doesn't have any of my money. No Mo Money. <laughs> oh, man, I could use some money. Hey, is uh, Uncle Joe Piggy back yet? <laughs> Uncle Steve? Same I thing. I was gonna say, don't you ever disrespect Uncle Steve like that again. <laughs> I swear to God, it's been dead. Hey, 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 anyways, guys. So far. Oh, speaking of rectums, making her way to the ring next. It's Morning Wood. Rectum, I barely know him. And speaking of rectums. I just said that. Morning Wood. Okay. Morning Wood is undefeated in Wauf. Yep, she Will is. that streak continue she, tonight? She is 2-0. and oh, But we have to also remember, uh, Mo Money is also undefeated. Am I wrong? You are. I am wrong. <laughs> She is actually one and one. She lost the fatal four-way matchup. I can't believe you don't remember this. It's only been a month. Look, look, my, my memory's a bit hazy. Of course, this is February sixth, two thousand seventeen. Um, when we are recording this, uh, we are airing live on February sixth. Oh, it is chilly outside right now. It's so cold. You could feel my morning wood. <laughs> it's pointy. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep this rolling here. Stop the pan, uh, the the going back and forth. Let's get down to the heavy business here, and that is, who's gonna be our first female champion in the company? Who knows? Who, oh will, will be female. for champion, the female champ, for female champion. That's right. And we are about to get things underway here. Jayla looks ready. Mia and looks stinky. Mo Money looks ready. Morning Wood. Looks hard. Okay. And you see the white belt hanging out. And it is heating up. 
ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed Mia now. Corkscrew leg drop there. Jayla now with a counter on the arm. Oh, and now getting some arm revenge on her own. Adis. Double underhook. Backs. Tiger suplex. It is hot and heavy. Tiger! In the world of Warcraft on zone. I barely oh. know her. Oh, man. I'm going to say that until someone Wait, what? What am I punching what? you for? What? Huh? What? Are you about to become your second self huh? again? Are you what? about to break consciousness? Is your boy little Uzi Vert here? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As we all do our worst Uzi impressions. I mean, then again, Uzi does a really bad Uzi impression. That is true. That does not sound anything like the gun. Anyways, Morningwood. Anyways, back talk. to this tremendous ladder match that we are witnessing. That's exactly what I was going to say. Once again, back to this ladder match we are watching. Well, match our bandwagon. All right, now back to the ladder match. You're a wagon. Anybody ever told you that? Oh, and a pendulum backbreaker from the fish lady herself. And now more, um, more money now setting up the ladder in the ring. Too many ends. Mia, more wood, more money, and just it. Man, you can tell that the, the she's the odd woman out. Could she be the winner because of her her unique name? And Mia completely oh, disregarded. Oh, double team! Not, not having any effect though. The double team moves. Not take Mia down. Oh, oh, and a kick to the face of oh, Morning Wood oh. doesn't stop her from getting thrown off of the ladder. Mia's dead. Uh oh, JK, look at that. Oh, oh. nope, now she's dead. Now you gotta be. And now Jayla's setting the ladder back up again. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. She just walked right into that that money combination, the one that put away Mia and last here comes night. The haymaker. Oh! oh. And look at her shuffle away. She's gonna try to shuffle up that ladder. Possibly. No, nope, never mind. Shimmy, shake, slide. The electric slide. Whatever you gotta do to get up that ladder, just do it. Morning wood sliding into that position. And you know Will Osprey waits is fudge. Also on the ladder as well. Will Osprey waits fudge. Uh, well, women's Morning female wood championship. Hanging. Oh my goodness. Morning wood hits hard. That's a concussion right there. You want to bring back up that concussion uh, counter? Boom. Morning. Morning Wood was not thinking with her head. Oh, not the right one, at least. Anyways, Mia setting the ladder back up. It seems like that that attempt at grabbing the belt was in vain. For <laughs> Morning Wood. <laughs> was in. She got herself into a hairy situation. Uh huh. But now it's now it's Mia. Now it's Mia. Oh. Hopefully she can shave off that uh, that mistake that she made. But anyways, no, you guys can laugh at my joke. Other, it's okay. Otherwise, ha, ha, it's ha, ha, in ha, the ha. can for her. And hey, we'll hey, back. hey, we'll be right back with some more waff action. And while we're gone, make sure to tout. 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 Watch the Jesse Ruiz Show on WCTV or on YouTube. And we are back with Morningwood running up a storm down that ladder and Mo Money following her. Jayla probably going to end up pushing it over because this is a ladder match. And she is. Do we know how far this belt has come in the last 10 minutes? Uh, I mean, it's still up there, right? I guess. <laughs> That's the idea. And now it looks like Jayla is going to go get that other ladder. And now we're going to have two ladders in the ring? That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Nuts. And out of the ring goes Mia like a sardine out of a cave. Now Jayla all by herself in the ring instead of climbing. She's just staring at Mo Money. And Morning One up top. Edging oh. on getting that belt. And more, oh, Mo Money and now. If she could just get another couple of inches there, Morning Wood would have this. Oh, oh she's face Wood first. Coming down. <laughs> Mo Money face first onto the ladder. It's a complete whiteout for Morning Wood. Oh my, oh my word. And I mean, this belt, not only is it, you know, the pride that you have when you have this belt, it also ups your paycheck, and that way Morning Wood could afford that pearl neck that she really wants. <laughs> oh no. How. How she, how much she uh, adores the purse. And now, Morning Wood, once again back up the ladder. You want to take a guess that Mia's gonna push over the ladder? 
Oh, uh, look, she Oh! Like the, stink, that again. the stinkiest fish in the package, Mia is there to ruin someone's night. <laughs> and now they're both they're jumping. Both trying, oh! Both the they used the force. They did a force power bomb off the top, and Jayla is now all alone in the ring once again. All right, that was really deep, uh, quiet and sexual there, guys. Come on, let's calm it down here. Jayla, a little bit sexual. Jayla, all by herself. She's climbing up to the top. Mo money's there. Can she get it? Nope. And uh, the hits are no. Perhaps. Guys, I think you're all counting on Morning Wood. Like the Phoenix, Morning Wood will rise again. And Jayla now getting the, the, the belt back one more time. Oh, and want to get, uh, oh, more punches. I'm not even making actual words. And oh. everybody falls. Oh. Uh, pump and jump. Pump and jump. No, Kelly. Oh. Morning Wood tried to pump, but you couldn't pump it out. Oh. And that is a hoo-ha buster in the center of the ring. And you got to say there, that has to be a very, very, very harmful move towards someone's future. So, how do you guys feel about the war? The Great Emu War of 1936? No, the War of Warcraft Federation. Which is... That's going on right now. Oh, no! Another powerbomb. And <laughs> she's going to roll the ladder out of the ring. And Just for Mia to get it back. And out goes Morning Wood. Uh, just like the morning trash. Not that she is. She's great, probably. I don't know. I haven't really talked much to her. But Jayla climbing up the ladder. And, oh, that's a quick punch. Another punch there for Mia. Mia is about to be all alone on that ladder. She can play her cards oh, right. Jayla reverses, though. Jayla with a reversal. Just, go. Oh. Oh, oh, no. And guess and what? Uh, uh, Morningwood's going to push this ladder over. Boom, and everybody's down again. I was not expecting that. Gotta love multi-man ladder matches. They're the best. Whoever booked this clearly is uh, hates us. Hates me, at least. <laughs> Facts. Anyways. Was it Uncle Steve? Who knows? Was it? It wasn't Uncle Steve. I really hope these people at home can hear you. Okay. In your, in your mumbles. Because this is so interesting. The demons of Selzar. <laughs> Wait, which one is Selzar again? Selzar. Yeah, which one is Selzar? <laughs> if you don't know, Wolf just made a face like from the girl from Scream. So, uh, in case of you folks at home are wondering, that is what Selzar looks like. And anyways, Jayla. Oh. And Mo Money. Now, oh, oh wow. shit. Right. A right hand right uh -oh. to the breast. Pushes her off the ladder. Now she's all alone. Jayla's got the belt. Could she win? Is Jayla Could gonna take pull it, it out? Jayla, Jayla is the strong. winner. Maybe, please. Perhaps. And yes, yeah, she does it. And just like that, Morning Wood is no longer undefeated. Morning Wood. But remember, although Morning Wood has been defeated, she has yet to be pinned. I was actually going to bring that up next show, but that's fine. Just do my job for me. Who knows? What? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Jayla. You got to say Jayla. Good for her, you know? Battling through an injury all all this month, all last night, having it exaggerated more because of the, the arm attacks from Morning Wood. And now, Jayla, able to take down the belt and be victorious as the first ever female champion. It's a true underdog story. I've only got two words to say. Suck it. I'm funk. Ah, oh, you're funk. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, tweet hashtag Waff Rumble because it is now time for the Feb U Rumble match. Okay, wait, who is this girl? That's her name. This wait, girl. oh. Who's funk? No, who's the... Who's the all right. So, anyways, I guys. That is Britney Spears. Okay. Well, because of the limitations to the arena, we have decided to move to a, a remote location in Philadelphia. Of course, all the women stayed here in Cohasset, and the guys 
took an overnight flight to Philadelphia so they can wrestle in this match that we are loaning from the from the World Wildlife Federation. Anyways, number one entrant, Colin Federickerson. How many people were in this rumble? There are 20 men. 20 men. 20 men. 20 men. 20 prize. hunks of beef. Of course, the winner gets a title match at any show of their choosing. Uh, that could be the next show. It could be the last show. But the winner gets their choice. And actually, Mac McInerney, our champion, is entered in this match. So, what a plot twist. So, guys, take a look. If he wins this, he will not have to defend his title. He gets to veto one title match or of perhaps, his choice. Perhaps he go over another, after another title as well. You could, I mean, you really want the 24-7 title? I mean, the 24-7 title, you can do it. It doesn't have to be. Got, so he got two titles. All he has to do is just get tag, somebody in the shower. He could find a tag team partner. <laughs> he could find a tag team partner. But his, he could, he could, he could but, but his, his buddies are, <laughs> he could be in jail, but his buddies are already tag team champions. Anyways, but yeah, that's what's going to happen. Let's see who drew number two. And this crowd is on their feet. Who is it? It's Johnny Brand! Oh. My. Goodness. Johnny Brand. Of course, we talked about Assumption last night. Terrible. Assumption's number one American hero, Johnny Brand, has entered the February Rumble match. I think you meant to say a function. A <laughs> function. <laughs> well. Because he is clearly thumped to compete tonight. He is. And, of course, the fourth and not the last. <clears throat> you know, that man is going to have a baby that's going to make him a fifth. You know? One day. One day. Hopefully not tomorrow. Hopefully not during this match. That's all we can ask for. I don't think we have any women in this match. So. Anyways, Johnny Brand, your second entrant in tonight's match. Gotta say, I like the head. You can say he's ahead of the competition. You know, they do call him Big Head Johnny. They also call him Big Butt Johnny, but... See, I think it's That's just a normal butt. Johnny. That is a normal sized butt. I, I don't know. Anyways... Of course, uh, February Rumble rules. Whenever we say so, a new entrant will come in. There's no time between entrants. It's all about just one random monkey in the back. Actually, you know you know what it's like? You, you play musical chairs and you just randomly hit the button. This is how we uh, do new entrants. I mean, what essentially is we have cages in the back where all the men are in and we let them out one at a time. Right, but only to the tuna, only to the game of musical chairs. Yes. Anyways... Ladies and gentlemen, these two have not had a match here. Of course, Colin Federickerson is the... She flew the motorcycles into Philadelphia. Is The Undertaker here tonight? Oh, we know the under Kube is at least. At least we get one under. Anyways, um... Under? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the third entrant, Big D. I barely know her. That, that wasn't really that good. That was bad timing. You know, it's, it's not really funny <laughs> when you say it. All right, Big D has entered the match. Colin Federickerson is on the apron, about to be eliminated by Johnny Brand. Oh. Can he save himself? And he does. Oh, Cho hanging himself, like a like 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 somebody. Um. Anyways, Big D. Now Irish Whip, he's gonna take Colin for himself. Colin Federickerson, of course, the the manager of Bradford Walkford. Being uh, another private private school kid. I mean, I'm pretty sure they showed each other their privates, and you know what I mean. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Have you met Bradford Walkford? Man, he's got privates. Let me tell you, he's got publics also. But those those aren't those aren't as fun. Anyways, the fourth entrant, Joseph. I or, guess he's our Joey Ho. I guess he's back to Joseph right now. Well, I'm guessing the orange attire is Joseph. Well, of course, it is every man for himself. So him and Jason U. Davis would not be in their uh, groove age outlaws. Yeah, you, you got to write that time. Yeah, they won't be in that attire. I mean, in theory, it is every man for himself. Of course, it'd be nice to work with your tag team partner on things. But, you know, not everybody's that smart. So you see in a lot of these Royal Rumble matches. Or February Rumble matches, rather. See here, we are currently four people in out of twenty. Gotta say, who's the favorite so far? Well, uh, if I'm honest, being honest with you, I'm going with Big D. It looks like he is taking it and giving it. He is giving the Big D to everybody. Hey. Oh, oh! It looks like. Uh, speaking of 
of pub, uh, uh, privates. Here comes Bradford Watford and his manager gets eliminated right away. Good timing, guys. Good timing. I think Bradford Watford could have saved him. You would hope so, but our current 24-7 champion, Bradford Watford, now in the corner making sweet, sweet love to Johnny Brand. As Joseph I mean, who, Big who, D. Who wouldn't want to do that? That is true. And, oh, he's got the knee. Fisherman oh, Butler. that's it. Bradford's and gone. Bradford's out of there. He's, it was too quick, in my opinion. And just as quickly as he entered. It's a good thing that he's out, though, because what would have happened if he had been pinned in the middle of the, the rumble? Mm -hmm. If we had had a new 24-7 champion within a match, a match within a match? That would have been intense. I would have, I would have gone for that. They should have. Dude, whoever wrote this show. Anyways, number six. It's Jerome. I know they told him why he thought it was bring home. No, no, Jerome. Different, different Jerome. Different Jerome. But, guys, think about this logically. Currently, the world, the record holder for most eliminations in a February Rumble match, Johnny Brand. Is that two? He's at two. He eliminated both Bradford and, and Colin. Colin. So, and then who's Colin this match? Am I right? Oh, you're right. I'm just making sure there's not any ticks in Philadelphia either. Jeez, just freaking oh, ticks is all over the place. Look at them rolling on the ground together like they're a couple, you know? Uh -oh. Yeah, a couple of guys <laughs> having some fun. <laughs> and, of course, Big D and Jerome faced off last night in a tag team match. Right, with Jerome's team beating Big D's team. And now, oh, we want to talk about teams. And now the gentleman himself, Jason D. Davis. Now, My pick to win this thing. Now these two should work together in theory. Uh, uh, of we'll course, see. losing the the dynamic duo title match last night. Uh, let's see. Oh, whoa! Look at that pull back, snap dragon, half fap, and, and super the snap dragon like the processor. I like the processor. And oh, spin around. DDT. Could he eliminate both of the these time? Blue Agers? Uh oh. Are they going to work together? He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's just going to watch. See, he was yelling profanities at Johnny Brand. And I got to say, I feel offended. Uh oh. And here comes number eight, the great Hey Dino. This man, of course, uh, defeated both uh, Joseph and Jason last night for those dynamic duo championships. Oh, and he missed the, the cover. Young club. The young, young, young cucks. The young cucks, actually, is what they like to Part be called. Part of Booty Club and the Cheeks. And of course, the rule for every Febby Rumble, you can only have six men in the ring at once. Otherwise, you have, uh, it's too much of a sausage fest. At least that's what I was told in the back by Daddy. You know? I don't know. It's his rules were just were, were, were pawns in his game. It is a I can't attest to this. I have had a conversation with Danny talking about sausages many times. And this was brought up one of those times. This was brought up. And he's, oh, Joseph Jason almost gone. It. Jason D. Davis out on the ropes, and so is Hey Dino. Hey Dino able to, uh, to stop that. It's all right. He's going to hold on. I know it. And both. Jason D. Davis is gone. What did I tell you? <laughs> I'm told he's going to fall off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Brand now has three eliminations, and he's about to have four. If him and Joseph can get rid of Kyle, Big D is eliminated. I guarantee that Joseph Same thing. will uh -oh. avenge his partner. And all three of them eliminate Jerome. And it's Johnny Brand is at four. Four major eliminations. Yeah, the Brand. ASCO, <laughs> former team members of Team ASCO. Hey Dino and Johnny Brand the fourth. Of course, while these two were in college together, they did live next door to each other, and they did touch butts. They I were have confirmed very that. thump with one another. I have confirmed very that. Very thump. As anyways. Oh! A shot to the gut there. Big Head Johnny. Thank you for watching WOWF, which of course stands for... Thump. <laughs> thump. You just want to say thump, didn't you? Thump day? Well, oh well, thump. I could have said well, well, thump. Or weak, ostrich, well, And here, come, here comes Griff Dog to save Hey Dino. Will he make it in there in time, though? That's the real question. You saw Brad couldn't make it in time. Oh, it looks like he did. Just in time. Just like his dad. Uh, anyways, now Griff Dog in now, the corner there. Both the young cunts. Look at them kissing. We could have a double elimination here, except Hey Dino now. Save. Uh-oh. No. 
He's hanging on. He's hanging on. Great dog is gone. On. That was quick. Very quick. Very quick. One half of the dynamic duo champions just got thrown out unceremoniously. And now Joseph working together with Hey Dino after he just eliminated his brother. But hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And look at the shaman they double They are very up. thump with one another. They clearly are. As number 10. Uh oh. Ladies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fernando! I say the biggest man in this matchup has just been Hurricane Rana. Once he's a great, he, you know, it's the great Fernando, both great in their own right. That is true. The battle of the greats over in that that far right corner. <laughs> I don't think the ring ropes can handle it. <laughs> we nearly just broke the ring as Fernando now has Hadino on the ropes himself. Johnny Brand's over in the corner. Joseph's gonna work on him. No, he ducks it. Oh, He's Joseph's limit. He's Joseph. gone. Joseph is now up to four eliminations of his own. Tiny Johnny Brand. Face. They are now tied for the most eliminations of all time. Brady Kale coming in at number eleven. Green like the leaves of the plant, but not the leaf you're thinking about. We are talking about the vegetable kale. <laughs> also, and Brussels sprouts. And ladies and gentlemen, slow mo is in action here. Of course, if the action gets too hot, we gotta slow it down. Like butter. Just like butter, I guess. And just squeezing the head. Oh, Joe stays in it. So we are currently over halfway through the field. We gotta say, uh, Who's, who's looking good so far out of these four that could uh, last to the end? I'm, Joe Ho is doing fantastically. Right <laughs> what did I tell you? He's going to avenge his tag your partner, Jason E. Davis. He's going to win this whole thing. I guarantee you. Here and comes Young Jess. Here comes the debut of Young Jess. Of oh, wow. Look at that tiger pants and that mask thing. Who, Who is, is Young what Jess? Is, what is on his face? Of course, he was born by the name of Jesse Sarkeesian, but, you know, who likes that name? So he's just calling himself Young Jess. We well, can't have two Jesses. Right, but but he has the Young, and he forgot the O. And that mask is, of course, he's wearing because he was brutally wounded in the Armenian Genocide. That is true. I heard he is related to Mia. They grew up in the same fish factory. <laughs> that explains the smell. The, the reason he wears that mask is to protect his nostrils from the devastating smell that Mia brings to the arena. You know, we, all that too, all that too. We are currently, you know, still back here in beautiful Cahasson, Massachusetts, but... Also in Philadelphia. Know, we can, no, we can smell him all the way from Philadelphia, and that's rough. Or, anyways, the Wombologist is now in, and once again, we have <coughs> filled up the ring, and Young Jess is about to eliminate Fernando. Anyways, once again, cannot have more than six. And Fernando oh. hangs on. Oh, reverse Frankensteiner. You know, if Joseph doesn't win this, my next pick is definitely Fernando. Undefeated. I don't know if, he, if anybody can even make this man go over the top rope. It's got to be rough. I mean, we saw Kawhi Ethan do it last night, but that's not when he counted, you know? You got to say, he has the best chances due to his um, height and... Weight. Determination. No, not his weight. His determination. He's very sensitive about that. Yeah, don't talk. Don't bring Seriously, don't talk. Come on. You know what? You're sensitive about that. dollars <laughs> Of course, we were not able to fly sensitive. Uncle Steve out here to referee this matchup. Good. That's good. Oh, and Brady Kale's been eliminated. Joseph, five eliminations. He has eliminated a quarter of this match. The MVP of the night. Uh-oh. One ball just eliminates the great hey, Dino. Dino. There. We are now down to 12, no, eight, 12 people left, I think. Well, there's four in the ring. There's four in the ring, and I think there's been 12 entrants. So it should be down to 12. But that's just my poor math skills. You know, I went to if Brandon High School. There's 20, 20 people in this match. We're 12 in. How do you figure there's another 12? That equal well, 24. If my but but there's, there's eight people not to come. And there's four people right there. And that's 12 if you add them up. Oh, no, speaking of that's 11 now. That Joseph is, is eliminated. I that. I'm so sorry. I just you Joseph has been eliminated. And Young Jess is... No, but never mind. Why would you add them together? They're the same, part of the same group. They're part of the same group. Sexist. Anyways, 
No, <laughs> let's keep the ball rolling here. Now that jokes is well made, mine, all my I'll, I'll, I'll joke the sign of being yeah. serious. Why would you add them together? <laughs> because mathematics, man. Anyway, Kawhi Ethan. Hey, Kawhi Ethan, come to get Look at the crowd going wild for Kawhi Ethan. It is time to rekindle the flame. That was last night as the two go back at it again. Orlando, not wasting any time. Fernando picking him up and dropped oh, him that down. that is a 9,000 foot drop. That is also a concussion. Oh, and a big spear from the big man, Fernando. Fernando picking him back up. I don't think Kawhi even has any more ribs. Uh-oh. Go for the, no, and he tried to go for the elimination, but he just couldn't get the trajectory right. He could not get the Well, he, of course, though. isn't wearing his glasses, so his, you know, death perception is... That is a fair yeah. assumption to make. Speaking of assumption, Johnny Brand, what an effort tonight. Wait a minute, Joho is out of here. He is. He's been out. He has been out. Yes. I did not That's notice true. that. We are now down to the final ten. The Undercoo entering the match. Oh, no. Final ten. Try me again. No, you're right. You're right. I am right. Shut up. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. I am. Shut up. Anyways, Cobb and throw, Undercoop throws him into the corner. And though, I'm sorry if I'm being a little rude to you guys. As I had a long night last night. I couldn't sleep. Try cutting sheep. All those yeah. feels <laughs> try. I try. All them feels, you know? This is the only one that has me going to Rest in peace. Anyways, Kawhi Ethan on the apron. Undercoop about Under to eliminate. Kawhi Ethan, of course. Kawhi meaning warrior, under meaning warrior. Could there be a relation there? Perhaps. I don't know. They both have the same too dark skin tone. Yeah, from Tyler Tesno. Tyler number 16. Uh oh. No. Double choke slam to Kawhi Ethan. But, 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 Fernando got taken out back. Of course, you know, last night in the six-minute tag team match, Tyler Tesno was the only one we did not see in action. So this is technically, if you want to count it, his uh, in-ring debut. Not looking very impressive so far. He's currently being sat on. It's not, not a good look for him. I'll be real with you. Oh, diving elbow to his uh, to his opponent, Kawhi Ethan. Oh, no. Another choke slam coming up. Oh, Say young Jess looks like he's about to be tossed. Bobby, what is two plus two? Uh, four. <laughs> four. That is right. Anyways, Kawhi Ethan now whipped over the top rope, and Young Jess also whipped over the top rope. But he's been left alone, so he can get back in because everybody's stupid. Anyways, Lombard just now trying to throw. Uh oh. Now he's he's trying to get Tesno out. And Undercoob is about to be eliminated by Young Jess. Except nobody was eliminated again. Man, gotta love the action here at Watermelon Only. Watermelon if only. I am fumped tonight. <laughs> and speaking of fump, maybe Kawhi Ethan will be fumped tonight as he's about to be eliminated by a great Fernando. I've run out of water. I don't know how I'm going to get through these next, uh, I don't know, maybe like, probably roughly nine minutes or so. That's kind of nice. Anyways. Oh, he missed the la the lariat. Kawhi Ethan throws him over the top rope. And he's going to push him out. No. Fernando back in. Lombard just on the apron. Lombard just is safe again. And Kawhi Ethan on the apron again. Kawhi Ethan, oh my goodness, nobody eliminates each other in this. Anyways, maybe Tesno might be. Oh, Tesno's leaning there. He's on the ropes, literally. Tesno from there. Fresno. And Tyler Tesno eliminated. And Fernando up on the apron. Will he be out too? Oh my, oh my god! god! Perhaps the biggest upset of the night. Kawhi Ethan getting My revenge. Money's on Kawhi Ethan, it always has been. Kawhi Ethan getting revenge from his defeat last night, and now he's going to try to eliminate the Undercoop. Except Coob now with the counter. Toss him over the top rope. 
And my guess is he will be eliminated. At least that's just my guess. And as we only have a few people remaining, of course we have the Amazing Jess still hasn't entered. Uh, Andrew the Great is still our champion, Mac McInerney has not entered yet. So you gotta say some big, big breaks there for some of our top sides. That is true, ladies and gentlemen. As quite even sneaks back around and the neck breaker there. The one baller just picking up young Jess. Gonna toss him over the top rope. And a huge move. Huge me. And oh, here speaking of champions, here he is. Mac McInerney has entered the debut rumble. And he goes straight for the undercoop. And young Jess on the apron, and he's almost safe. Hanging on there. Mac going to town on Koob. And oh, I think young Jess has been eliminated on the corner. Being told, yes, he is. He has just been eliminated. Uh oh. Why Ethan now? Why Ethan move, made a move. Now German, Italian, Irish suplex there, pump handle. Oh! Wow, the pump handle, but not from Morning Wood. <laughs> Number 18, Kyle. Now, and oh man, he just took off our turnbuckle pad. What the heck? What is he doing? Look at the. Why oh! The dirty my God. For being seven years old, he really knows how to inflict illegal pain. That is true. You know, it just hurts. And that is what flying is not the truth. Oh, what a brain buster! And we are <coughs> almost in the clear. Something. Spear! Spear! He's broken in half! Yeah, you know that spear usually sets up for the jackhammer, so watch out, Bob. Oh, Andrew the Great at number 19. We are. Oh, and another brain buster. Same thing, right? Oh, oh, Kyle goes straight after him. Remember in that first matchup, Kyle hit Andrew the Oh, back Andrew first the Giants. Every man for himself is. It is. And Kawhi. Hey, what did I say? Kawhi is here to win. Kawhi Ethan has been eliminated as the undercoob now makes room for that 20th entry. We can only guess is the best amazing guess. But hey, you know, it could be somebody else. No, it we've seen a lot Dave, of surprises. It could be Devin Davis. It could be Reed Davis. Oh, thank you. Fitchburg working together for a second against the Undercoop. Oh. Oh. This is it for the one apologist. Our scientist from UMass Boston might be eliminated right here on the Might not, though. Mm. I'll put money on Might. Oh man, he's moving down. Nope. All right, I would have just lost money again. <laughs> That's true. Uncle Steve would never give me money again. But it's <laughs> you two, you guys gotta get it set. This is a serious matter. It's a hundred dollars. I am on welfare. That is not my norm. And here is the what 20th is the and what final the entrance. The man who has ended the show twice has ended the Royal Rumble. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Koob. It's going to be Koob. Koob hanging on in the corner. Kyle could get the elimination here. And Kyle! What did I say? Kyle. Kyle. And Kyle with another it's elimination! Ready. It's ready. Kyle's here to win. Oh. back right there We are down to the final four. It happens to be number 17 to the 20. Uh, coincidence? I think not. Tiebreaker! And now, amazing Jess and Andrew working over on the left side. Oh, Lion Salt! Lion Salt there from the booty man himself. Jess on a dangerous position there on the top rope. Oh, he's the knee. 
you need to be needed? Anyways, if Kyle, Kyle eliminate the champ now. If Kyle, if anyone can eliminate the champ, that's gotta be a clear sign that they are the winner. And even if they do not win this match, Kyle, Kyle, yeah. Kyle, is Kyle gonna get it? Uh oh, he's got the drum kick. Kyle, 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 Kyle what do I say? Kyle's here to win. Kyle has eliminated the champ. Uh, wow. Unbelievable Kyle putting in the performance of a lifetime. A man who's just normally known as a background participant is now, you know, he's close to, he's in the final three. Oh, and a right elbow. And a left hit. <laughs> left hit. Right? Left hit? Anyway. Suplex! Here we go, throwing him over the top and jawbreaker there. Oh, he oh, missed the Pele! And Kyle, gonna throw him over? Is he gonna sneak one over? Is Kyle gonna get another future Hall of Famer? Blissfully, <laughs> blissfully ignorant of the troubles of the world. <laughs> As we all should sometimes. But no, the amazing just came down. Uh oh. Oh, go away! No, go away! The power oh, item! Oh! We are down. And now it is, it is down to. Andrew the Giant and Kyle. Both residents of Fitchburg. Well, don't be going to the school. And Fitchburg State, two for three tonight. That's gotta be some good odds there. Kyle now has the Giant on the ropes. Kyle will be able to pull it off. Could he pull off the upset? Yes! yes! Oh, oh my say, goodness! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match and the new number one contender at any time ever, Kyle. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anything can happen. I don't know why he's pointing at a WrestleMania sign. I'm pretty sure that's a trademark. That, that's something that belongs to the uh, World Wildlife Federation that we're borrowing it from. This rumble was a slobber knocker. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for thank you for I'm staying with over. us. Of course, I have been me. I have been with Wolf, and I have been with Bobby. And we will see you guys next month at Smash Fest. I'm Fump. Let's tell.